At NATO, we retrofit sensors and intelligence. They go on your windshield to understand driving behavior and the risk situation in the external environment to help make driving better. It's a stepping stone towards full autonomy where the vehicle will drive on its own. We uniquely look both at the outside, so signs, traffic lights, other vehicles, pedestrians that you have to make sure you don't hit, but also looking at the inside because two-thirds of all accidents are actually caused by driver distraction. We have an important role today in commercial fleets, helping commercial professional drivers and the fleet operators stay safe. Where this is headed next is the data we upload also will benefit for future built-in vehicle safety features. Eventually, we won't be watching human drivers, we'll be watching human passengers, but it's really the software and the intelligence that then has to uh, evolve and appropriately interact. And we talk about not just autonomous driving, but harmonious driving. Toyota immediately understood that this has to be at scale. This isn't about a few test vehicles running in California or running in Tokyo and learning how to drive. It really needs to work everywhere. And they were an early advocate of let's solve the safety problem together. Let's contribute to a system that would be in the cloud that benefits everybody. Uh, and so that has been fantastic. We've worked very closely together on data standards, on figuring out how to get learnings from uh, real driving. One of the best things about our collaboration with TRI is that both of us are very focused on not just the outside risk situations, but on the driver experience. We're trying to shoot for an experience where the whole driving experience is better, smoother, more relaxing, less stressful, and guided.